Good morning, everybody. Let's get back on our yard projects. I'm going to continue on with the worm bed here. Now, I've got a bunch of leaves raked up in there. Now, looking around here, you can't tell I raked any, but there's a bunch in there. It's over half full, and they will compost down. Now, we had, I don't know, two, maybe, maybe even three inches of rain here the day before yesterday. And it wet them down pretty good. That's what we want to see. Now, the next step, uh, I'm going to add some peat moss. Now, this stuff has went up in price way more than I ever thought it would. A different brand of this, this year, is $59 for a bale. Three cubic foot. This brand at Lowe's was, um, what was it, $19, and I hated to pay that. But I need some, at least one bale. I would like to have had two, but I only got one to uh, help build the soil, help hold the moisture. Now, peat moss, this will expand twice. It'll actually be about six cubic feet when it gets wet. Because it soaks water and it takes a good while for it to soak it up. So what I'm going to do is just cut it open and spread it out. Set the camera down right here on the bow of the boat. Now this is hot. You can feel heat off of it. That's why you don't mix this and uh, plant plants in it. You can mix it with your soil, but it's still going. It'll go through a heat cycle. It's still you can feel down in there, and it's hot. You've got to let it cool first before you plant anything. In. Same with pot and soil, and I've got some of that too. And we'll see that at the end of this video, or in the middle of it somewhere, where I'm going to plant my tomatoes and peppers. rid of that like a little hoe fork bust it up like that I'll have to wind up getting another one of them soon. Like that. Then we go in, I'll go in and just bust up these big chunks. I get spread out like I want it. And then I'll set the hose on it and wet it. And let it fully expand, get wet. Then I'll take the pitchfork and sort of just turn it into the leaves a little bit. All right, and we'll see what it looks like here in just a few minutes. All right, got the first layer of water down. And it'll take quite a while for that to soak in, and that won't be wet still. It'll be uh, still dry. We've got a little dam going on here. There we go. See? See how dry it still is in there? 
And I heard this morning actually I was watching the video that they was mixing peat moss to help drainage. I disagree. Peat moss is it holds moisture once it gets wet, which is why what I want in here. Now, if it's for drainage, I don't think that's the way to go. That's just me. And I have done this before many, many times years ago before there was such a thing as YouTube. But I'm not one to go on somebody else's channel and tell them they're doing it wrong. So they do what they want. But <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next project for today. <laughs> This old wagon was my daughter's baby girl, baby girl since she was little. And uh, it's been back here behind under the shelter for a long time. I figured I'd pull it out and use it. She used to drag this thing all over this property. Put her baby dolls in it and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Alright, this is what the uh, next project we're going to plant up on the porch in the pots. Marigolds. They're supposed to be good to keep bugs away. Or help keep bugs away. Bell peppers. I got two greens, a red, and a blue. I'd never seen a blue bell pepper. Purple, purple bell. We're gonna try that. I generally don't like to get those big plants like that because they are very, very expensive. But I went to three stores, major stores, that sell plants, and that's all they had. And only one store had these, uh, and they wasn't, but a few of them left. So that's what we got. And I will add some more later on different kinds of stuff. Now these tomatoes are the ones that were, a friend of mine knows a guy that starts these and sells them. I was really skeptical when I first got them, when he brought them over, because they're only about that big. Really looked pitiful. But I... Uh, few weeks I left them out in the sun kept them watered well and uh, I think they're gonna be okay now those are beefsteak tomatoes because that's all he had so now I gotta wait for mama to get up because she wants to help me do this not many people get up at three o'clock in the morning and I don't know why burning daylight folks well all right we're gonna do our tomatoes and these because I have them and they were free <laughs> now each one got a half inch drill bit gonna put a couple of holes in there just like that I think that'll be plenty of drain for them. Thought there were six of these, but there's only five. be more fun to take my maybe my 38 and shoot some holes from there but it's still early I don't want to make too much noise all right let's move over here I have a bunch of leaves in this thing here I'm gonna put a layer of leaves in the bottom. Not too many, just a few for that will be drainage. So the soil don't mat down at the bottom. That's plenty. Just like that. Move the camera, and I got for this project 
that is jungle dirt what we call it now this used to be very very expensive and it still is but this year everything else is expensive too so might as well get this All right, now my buddy Greg uses this and he does a lot of container gardening or stuff as y'all know him. And he recommended it so that's what I got. Plus it's a bigger bag than the mother with bags in there. So. Like that, we'll fill up the buckets and show you when I get ready to plant. All right, let me show you how I plant tomato plants. Even in the ground or a raised bed. Anyway, these being in buckets. I have not done buckets in years, so hopefully it'll work. See, there's our plant. Pretty good height. Don't snip off them bottom ones leave those because wherever you snip off a root when you plant them that will root make it stronger water us out a hole in there We've got some good roots in there Maybe deeper than that deeper than that put you in there I'm gonna fill this back up Top or to the top. Right about the center, just like that. All right, just like that. Now, once they settle and get rained on, watered, whatever, put a little bit more dirt in there. And what I'll do is once they get going a little bit better, next day or two, I'll go out. I've got baskets, uh, cages to put around them. I'll put those around and stake them down to where they don't blow over when they get big. Let's do these. There we go. I had a little small pot. I put that last one in down there. And rain is coming. Now let's get up on the porch and do the, uh, get these peppers and marigolds ready to go in. All right, so far, don't have plants for these yet, but I do have dirt left. Marigolds, green bell pepper, green bell pepper, marigolds. Now on the peppers, when they get up a little bit bigger, I can put a stick or string or something up from here to the top there and tie them up if need be. And this does get a pretty good bit of sun during the day. Almost full. Purple bell pepper. I said blue, but it's purple. Marigolds, red bell pepper. Same thing with the sticks and strings. And I got some marigolds left. So I got to figure out 
a couple more plants and we'll get a couple more pots and do one more section right down there or i may use some pots i already have they won't look the same as those but who cares right <laughs> and the tomatoes y'all seen them down there and i hear thunder so that means we're fixing to get some rain now these are protected when the rain comes off the roof it goes it won't hit them and it won't hit the tomatoes that's why i got them spaced to where i do i have other plans for where the rain does hit and we'll worry about that at a later time one good thing about where i live we can plant just about year long just about whatever we want to so uh we're gonna make us a little what are the kids calling it nowadays food forest food garden whatever now this is not going to provide a lot of food not enough you can live on the peppers and tomatoes and uh i haven't got any onions but i'll just buy those that is for our salsa that we make salsa and tomato sauce that's why we're planting those we make it ourselves, and we'll show you all that too later on the marigolds are to help maybe keep the bugs away the smell is supposed to keep i don't know uh Mom and Daddy always planted them in the garden, so why not? They smarter than I am. <laughs> All right, there we go. There is a Saturday morning house projects. Get all my tools put away. I got a half a bag of jungle dirt left, and I'll just leave it up here. So there we go. Been a hectic week. Got this done today. Tomorrow's going to be a day of rest, and I thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll see y'all next time. Oh, by the way, the knife shop is open. Y'all know that, right? <laughs>